We can use a multiband compressor to control the dynamics of certain frequencies within a mix without affecting the whole frequency range. Let's see how it's done. Open your door and import the files beginning dub from the tutorial files folder to the arrange page before looping for playback. We'll be using Melder Productions M Multiband Dynamics for this walkthrough. You can get a demo from Melder Productions website. Our drum track is ready mixed, but it has too much low frequency content in the kick drum. We could fix this with normal EQ, but this will remove the low frequencies permanently, robbing the other drum elements of their body. By using a multiband compressor instead, we can dynamically reduce those frequencies without removing them altogether. Let's start by adding a fresh instance of M Multiband Dynamics to the Dub Drums channel. Open the plugin and select the 3 band compressor preset from the left. Now, click the edit button at the top of the screen to bring up controls for the 3 bands before disabling link so we can edit the settings of each band independently. Solo the low band and move the crossover frequency until you can hear the kick's low frequencies. We've set ours at 180 Hz. Now we can use the compressor's controls to shape our sound. As we explained in an earlier tutorial, longer attack and release times can help to avoid unwanted distortion when compressing low frequencies. The controls work just like a normal compressor, so set the attack to 25 milliseconds, release to 60 milliseconds, and ratio to 2 to 1, before pulling down the threshold to taste. We've gone for minus 21 dB to give around 3 dB of gain reduction. We can use another band on the M multiband comp to control the high frequencies in the drum stem. Ideal for removing some attack from the overly sharp hi-hat. Select the top band and solo it before setting the crossover frequency to isolate the attack of the hat without affecting the mid-range too much. We've gone for 2.4 kHz. And solo the top band before setting the compressor's controls to reduce the hi-hat's initial attack. We've gone for a ratio of 3 to 1 with a threshold of minus 33 dB. High frequencies generally carry less energy than low frequencies, so we can use a faster attack and release time of 10 milliseconds to control the attack without adding distortion. Finally, bypass the unused middle band to ensure as clean a sound as possible and to reduce the CPU load a little. Download over 30 exclusive plugins, get hundreds of pro quality samples and power up your production skills with in-depth tutorials. We break it down for you step by step and you'll see exactly how it's done in expert video guides and producer masterclass sessions with pro producers. Get all this and more with Computer Music Magazine every month on iPad and iPhone, PC and Mac, Android and in print.